Hello YouTube. Thank you for tuning in for another installment from the Thompson's Antique Center of Texas. We're located at 9950 Hempstead Road in the Northwest Mall and we're open seven days a week from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Monday through Saturday and from noon to 6 p.m. on Sundays. The center is 180,000 square feet and houses well over 100 vendors offering just about anything and everything you can imagine as well as offering restoration and repair services. Today we're going to continue our series of booth reviews with this one belonging to Tom Kennedy. Let's drop in on him and see what he's up to these days. So here we are at the Antique Center on aisle C6 in Tom Kennedy's booth. A lot of sports memorabilia stuff here. Uh, almost too much, but that's what your wife said too, right? Yeah, it's true. Um, so what got you into this, Don? Well, I grew up in a small town in North Texas, great place called Gainesville, and uh, we went to Cress's and uh, spent a dime for baseball cards. So baseball card collecting uh, was one of those pastimes great small town and it evolved into uh, collecting complete sets when uh, I became a, a young adult and working for the late and lamented Houston Post and uh, in my spare time I completed sets and when you complete sets you have dupes and then when you have dupes you want to sell them or trade them so those dupes kind of evolved into you know, uh, acquisitions over the years of just nothing but fun stuff. And that's what I believe I have here. And I want to share the fun. How, how long have you been doing this? Oh, my goodness. Well, let's see. I think um, Nixon was president, so it had to be in the early 70s. So you're not 21 anymore? Huh? Uh, I feel like it, but no, not really. Um, how about... Um, is there anything special that you like to collect? I know you come from a newspaper background, but this isn't really newspaper stuff. Oh, no, 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 but it's uh, newsmakers, you might say. Uh, I think um, the the lowest common denominator of the things that I have here uh, is fun. You know, if it's a fun thing, uh, I like to uh, collect it uh, for my booth and then somebody who likes to collect the same things that uh, that I enjoy will come along and uh, you know have some fun with it. You know, it's just like this this gun here. It's a it's a pistol, but it's really a decanter, and I think that's, I think that's just pure fun. And uh, that's just you know one example of of the the things I like. And I like things that were made in the USA and not uh, uh, from somewhere else with a barcode under them. Do you offer any uh, like special services that if somebody wanted, let's just say a particular baseball, you probably know where you can get it as opposed to them going, how do I find it? Oh yes, yes, I could get uh, uh, with my great sources, uh, the most authoritative just like it was when I was in the news business uh, and say, okay, I have uh, someone interested in a Babe Ruth baseball, what do you have? And uh, that's just, you know, one example. And, and, you know, I broker collections all the time uh, of uh, baseball cards and sports memorabilia and, you know, even, um, you know, sign collections, Coca-Cola and things like that. Uh, is there some particular item you'd like to showcase to us? Well, I really admired uh, a great Hall of Famer named Craig Biggio and I worked uh, with the Astros and I was able to get uh, Craig Biggio's game used cap which we all know is very dirty and scuffed up and it has the authentication papers and uh, you know I uh, I have that that's one of my uh, prize items but I have uh, you know baseballs autographed by uh, a lot of the Hall of Famers you know Biggio, Mickey Mantle um, Hank Aaron, Willie Mays, people like that, uh, the older type players, the players on the baseball cards at Cresses that I acquired years ago. That's uh, kind of cool. 
Uh, I, I also know because of where my booth sits and that you're a big oil fan. Oh yes, yes. I I just acquired uh, a fun collectible. And I mean, it's, you know, I've got order glasses and team pictures and uh, love you blue, lots of love you blue items. But I just acquired an Euler dog leash. <laughs> it's a leash, <laughs> a leash that goes around a, a rather, it has to be a pretty good sized dog because we had all the, the top dogs and the horses back when the, yeah. the Eulers were here. So uh, it's an Euler dog leash. And I had never seen one before, but I have one now and I bet uh, I will challenge, you know, just for the funsies. Uh, you know, there's not anybody else that has an order of dog leash, is there? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. But if somebody contacts you, you can <laughs> surely uh, help them out there. Yeah, sure. I, I've also noticed in your booth that you've got a lot of the older memorabilia um, autograph pictures. Uh, there's one back over here. Uh, well, Lauren Bacall. <laughs> Lauren Bacall, and I've got uh, Ike. You know, I like Ike, a lot of people still do. Uh, it's authenticated, uh, autographed by uh, President Eisenhower. But I also have uh, the latest. I have Nolan Ryan and I have uh, Earl Campbell, two great heroes uh, around Houston. And uh, I have uh, Jose Altuve, greatest player in uh, baseball right now. And um, some of the uh, other Astros, uh, Always Nolan Ryan. Nolan Ryan, I had a, a, an autograph picture that went out the door uh, just yesterday. And uh, they're all authenticated uh, by the, uh, the right agencies. And they uh, are, uh, you know, ready to be taken home and put on the, the wall. Cool. Um, is there anything else that you would like to well, reference while we're here? Well, there's, uh, I'm, I grew up. Uh, on Gaines, in Gainesville listening to the radio and listening to uh, the mighty Baylor Bears or the Longhorns or even the Razorbacks from Arkansas. So I have a, uh, an old Southwest Conference exhibit. It's in uh, one of my, well two of my cases back here and um, they, uh, those cases spotlight uh, the older stuff from uh, a and Texas, Baylor and the other uh, schools in the uh, the 18 Southwest Conference from the old days, and even you know some from uh, uh, the the Cougars, the old uh, 500 yards of total offense by the end of the third quarter type of uh, action, and uh, I, I have pennants and uh, schedules and you know all kinds of souvenir items, decanters, things like that that uh, uh, are fun to the right uh, collectors and fans. Gotcha, gotcha. I, I agree and I see a lot of people when they're not in my booth, I see them over here looking at your stuff and there's a, I know we're going to add a little spot in here about your quote bear. Oh uh, yes. <laughs> because that, that was for a long time that was a, a photo opportunity was right here in this booth because the bear was right here. It's yeah, I, I call that bear Waco because I got him in Waco, home of the mighty Baylor Bears. And uh, the, uh, the bears go through hard times, but they will always prevail. And uh, the bear is uh, a nine foot grizzly, I think was uh, shot in uh, Washington State uh, way back in the 70s. And I was able to acquire him from Baylor when uh, they, uh, made the change from uh, Floyd Casey Stadium to uh, McLean Stadium. And uh, it's a, a great nine foot uh, specimen that uh, everybody loves to see. Yes, yes they do. Well, I wanna thank you for uh, sharing the time with us. We're gonna have a little thing at the end that gives your contact information in the event that somebody uh, wants to contact you specifically in this worldwide web that we're going to be putting this on and, and uh just back. One of the things I'm really proud of is this game used Craig Biggio cap. He wore it uh, the season uh, in which his really close friend Daryl Kyle uh, died and uh, you see the DK there 
he was allowed to uh, wear this cap um, as a tribute to Daryl Kyle. And I have the, uh, the authentication uh, right here. Um, this is a, a copy of the authentication, but I have the, the, um, the real um, document from the Astros that uh, the purchaser of this item will have. And I believe that, um, you know, Craig Vizio was a great Hall of Famer, uh, known for his hustle. Uh, I mean, you know, when I see him on television or anywhere else, I think, man, this guy ran at top end every time he got on the field. And he has more than 3,000 hits. And uh, having uh, one collectible, an autographed picture is one thing, but, you know, having this cap is quite another. And of course, I'm world renowned for working with people on the price. Uh, I'm the kind of guy who uh, is an old horse trader. I had a horse traders on uh, both sides of my family for generations, and um, I'm no different. If um, they want uh, a good price, and of course, if they have they have the cash they want to lay in my hand, I'll I'll make them a deal, and we'll both have fun and go away happy. This is something that I really think is just pure fun. It's an Oiler dog leash. And you know, as you can see, you can adjust it and uh, not get it too tight because you know, we got to treat dogs the way they need to be treated, which is like a human being. And uh, here you have, you know, the leash and it says Houston Oilers. And it's one more example of, you know, uh, like I've said before, uh, the Oilers had the big dogs and the horses and uh, we're a great team, one that people remember. Uh, they know Bum, they know Earl Campbell, uh, still great heroes in Houston. I have a lot of uh, Love You Blue, a Love You Blue light flow here, and um, you know, various glasses, and uh, uh, as a pencil sharpener, and a telephone. Uh, just uh, the more unusual, the better, uh, as far as uh, I'm concerned. I, I don't like to, have things that uh, you know you can still buy anywhere, perhaps with a, that uh, barcode underneath. I want things that are from the uh, the 60s, the 70s, and uh, I've got some things from the 80s, you know, which were the the the, the real Love You Blue uh, era. And uh, okay, this is uh, my display case where I have a variety of sports. Represented, I've got golfers, uh, baseball players, bowlers. Um, there's got to be a football player in there somewhere, but it's mainly baseball. Um, I have Babe Ruth there. I had another Babe Ruth item that uh, I sold yesterday. Uh, Babe and uh, the Mick, Mickey Mantle, are still the uh, most widely co collected sports figures around. Now, personally, I would put Earl Campbell and uh, Nolan Ryan in that category. But there's also, um, you know, I have advertising, uh, a Blatt's beer uh, advertising item here. And I have, you probably saw the Life Magazine there, and it has Richard Burton and Liz Taylor. And then you gotta wonder, what sport is this? <laughs> and uh, uh, inside that magazine are two uh, very unique and uh, hard to find, uh, post serial cards of Roger Maris and Mickey Mantle. And this came out in 1962 when they were filming Cleopatra and also it was the season after Roger Maris hit 61 home runs. And this is, believe it or not, a sports collectible. It has Liz and, and Richard Burton on there, but it's a sports collectible. And uh, most of the people who uh, are looking for those cards will know will know know this when they see it. Um, otherwise, uh, in this particular case, um, I have a, a bowling trophy from oh way back in the 50s, and that is uh, you know very much fun. I know that there is a lot of bowling collectibles. Uh, and the collectors out there who uh, love to have things for their man cave or even their woman cave. I have uh, uh, female bowlers who come in uh, fairly regularly and ask if I have any bowling items they would like. And uh, in addition to uh, several items in this case, I have a, a bowling case over there that has nothing but bowling, bowling items in it. And 
I think that's kind of fun. And uh, it offers something collectible in sports that's not just baseball and football and golf and basketball. This is my Southwest Conference area. You see the uh, reproductions of the helmets uh, at the top, uh, Texas and uh, Baylor went out the, the door. There must be uh, most of the rest of the Southwest Conference is up there, along with the Dallas Cowboys. Um, I can uh, get any of these made for any team that you like, uh, tailor-made uh, for you. We can even do, uh, like here is the uh, Lamar Redskins, and uh, we can get one of those made. Uh, the Redskins of the Texans, ever how you want it um, made also have what I call the, this is the glass case. I have uh, glasses that came out in the 60s and the early 70s uh, from oil companies where you could go in and get a fill up and get your uh, favorite team. Uh, over the years, um, the, uh, the Umbo company, or what became Exxon, uh, provided schedules and decals and all sorts of Southwest Conference collectibles. These glasses uh, came from uh, another oil company. We have the logo version or the pennant version. And they had the pennant version they did of all the Southwest Conference teams in addition to LSU, Oklahoma, and Oklahoma State. Oklahoma State is the, the rare one. You don't see that very often. Uh, I have complete sets of eight on the carrier, and most people uh, will like that as a, as a decoration for their homes. They can use the glasses, they're still good, uh, not chipped or anything like that. And uh, you know, it's a very nice little Southwest Conference collectible. And not only do I have glasses and the small things, I have other items like over here, um, lots of uh, University of Texas uh, items. Uh, let's see, that's a... Uh, I have an autographed mini helmet. It, lots of things are marketed by the University of Texas. They're really great at, at marketing their school. And uh, I have uh, lots of Bevo items. Um, and also, I love Old Sarge. See an Old Sarge decanter there. Uh, I can't keep enough of Old Sarge. Uh, the Aggie mascot uh, and just epitomizes uh, Aggie land. And uh, that's, that's just a, a, a ton of fun. I have Aggies come in here all the time, and we talk about old times and old football games and scores, especially when uh, Baylor beat them. <laughs> but I uh, have LSU, I have the, the Big Ten there, which is outside of this area, but still uh, it fits right in with the college football uh, type of uh, collectibles. Um, I have, uh, you know, pennants. And, uh, uh, well, heck, here is the uh, History Chronicles 1954 All-City Team. And uh, I always tease people who might be in a picture like this, that if they come in and they're in the picture, they get a really good discount. And this happened with my great team picture of the original Bel Air Bells. And it was uh, hanging uh, on my wall. And uh, a member of the original Bel Air Bells came in and I said, you get a great price for this. And she picked herself out and uh, she got the price and, and uh, tucked it under her arm and, and had a lot of fun. And that's, that's the kind of uh, customer I like and uh, the kind of transition, that, uh, trans uh, action that I like to see uh, among my customers. And uh, the, of course, you can't talk about the Southwest Conference without talking about the 50s. And uh, the 50s, of course, is a great generation. And I have uh, a lot of 50s collectibles around here. I believe we've had some shots of my table, um, the chrome table with the chairs. That uh, They seem to be one in every, uh, every uh, kitchen and dining area in the 1950s. Uh, and now they call it... Uh, mid-century collectibles. Tom is uh, one of our infamous authors here at the Antique Center, and he's got some books that he's written, and, and they're available here in his booth. And 
Tom, I really want to thank you for participating in this thing. Oh, I'm Boots glad to do it. Deal. And um, one of the things that I also want to pass out to everybody that's a viewer right now is that please like and subscribe us. Um, all our contact information is going to be at the end of this uh, in our credits. And the Antique Center of Texas where everything is fun. Well, this is uh, one of my greatest acquisitions, a uh, mighty uh, bear that really came from Baylor. It was up there on display for many, many years, and I really um, love bears. Uh, this particular one, uh, I, I brought down with my bare hands uh, way back in 1972, and if you believe that, I've got some ski slope to sell you in Pasadena, Texas. Really, it's it's fun. Uh, the bear has been uh, a photo shoot for many, many people around Antique Center, and it's just part of the fun around here. And if you uh, come over, I'll be happy to uh, give you a moment with him to, uh, you know, shoot pictures or anything you'd like to do. You could, might even want to buy him to take him home and put him in front of the fireplace.